five oceans, the Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, and Southern, cover two thirds of the planet we call home, hold 97% of the Earth's water, create more than half of the oxygen we breathe, and absorb harmful carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The oceans work without our help, but we can't live without theirs. From the sun skipping along the waves to the rich and diverse sea life below, the beauty of the ocean runs deep. The ocean, it's ours to protect. It's not just stunningly beautiful, it's crucial to our ecosystem and life. It's up to each of us to protect this precious resource. Plastic bottles, cigarettes, cardboard boxes, any man-made object that makes its way into the ocean or washes up on a beach is marine debris. So where does marine debris come from? A lot comes directly from onshore. Even far inland, packaging tossed out is washed into drains and ditches, then to canals, creeks, and rivers, and eventually to the sea adding tons of pollution that threaten sea life. In fact, humans are responsible for dumping more than 14 billion pounds of garbage into the oceans every year. The bad news is, 80% of waste comes from onshore and 20% from offshore. The good news is, even less comes from oil and gas facilities. So we're already leading the way in helping to protect our oceans. But by continuing to work together, and being vigilant every day, we can do even better. There's plenty of blame to go around, but there's also plenty of steps we can take to help turn the tide and start protecting the oceans. Wherever marine debris ends up, it's an inconvenience for some, but deadly for others. Every year, marine animals, seabirds, turtles, and thousands of other species get tangled in a web of plastic trash, trapped, suffocated, dying. Marine debris, often mistaken for food, can have deadly consequences. A vital part of the sea turtle's diet is the jellyfish, which unfortunately looks a lot like a plastic bag. Confusing plastic for food is especially hazardous for sea turtles like this green sea turtle. The leatherback sea turtle, the largest of all, eats jellyfish for almost 100% of its diet. Marine debris won't go away on its own. For example, let's look at how long it takes some ordinary objects to decompose in the ocean. The lifespan of a fishing line, believe it or not, is 600 years. So if you cut bait today, that fishing line would still be floating around in the sea till after the beginning of the 27th century. And the plastic bottle that took you a few minutes to empty? Well, it takes 450 years to disappear from the ocean. Those plastic rings that tangle up sea turtles, seabirds, and fish take about 400 years to dissolve. Something needs to change, and that's us. We have to do our part and dispose of marine debris the right way, right away. Because the ocean is our lifeblood and it's worth protecting at all costs. Captain Charles Moore is one of the world's leading experts in marine debris. He's the founder and research director of Algalita Research and Education in Long Beach, California. We've come to realize that our floats, um, uh, the waste that we generate that floats, uh, accumulates in vast subtropical gyres, as they're known. There are five of these on Earth, equaling practically the surface area of the land itself. When I crossed it in 1997, I saw evidence of it and went back with scientific sampling equipment two years later and indeed found that there was so much of our trash there that it outweighed the zooplankton in the area by a factor of six to one is a solitary feeder the size of an anchovy called a mctophan, a lanternfish. And these lanternfish are 55% of total fish biomass. They feed all the other fish and they are eating plastic. We found 35% of them with an average of two pieces of plastic in their stomach. So we're very concerned that plastic pollution will lead to a crash in the open ocean ecology. 
every bit of plastic ever made still exists, except for the small amount that's been incinerated. If the Pilgrim sailed to America with plastic dinnerware, we'd still be finding traces of it on the beaches of the Atlantic. A problem we've got to start wrapping our minds around if we're going to have any chance of saving the environment as we know it. It's transforming uh, the open ocean, I can swear to that. It's not easy to work out here, away from everything and everyone. It's your workplace and your home for the weeks you are here. You're working long hours, dealing with real deadlines and doing important work. It's what you do, and you do it better than anybody else. But that doesn't mean we can't improve. Remain alert, each day and with every step you take, to keep the sea free of debris. Keep packaging supplies secure on deck. For best practices, keep hard hats secure with lanyards. Keep pallets, crates, boxes, and other shipping materials tied down and secure. Label all movable objects, from skid-mounted equipment to five-gallon buckets, with durable markings to identify your facility and keep everything tied down. Manifest large trash bags and secure on deck of a supply boat for a safe voyage back to port. Give special attention to common problems like plastic water bottles. And if anything does go overboard, it must be reported to Bessie in the facility's daily operations report. It's a great idea to separate trash and recyclables, like aluminum cans, plastic bottles, paper, cardboard, and put it into the right bins. Snap lids down on trash cans, secure lids to cans, and secure cans to wall. Anything that can move needs to be tied down. It's even a good idea to attach your hard hat to keep the wind from blowing it overboard or falling off your head if you bend over. Tie down cardboard sheets so they won't blow into the ocean. Promptly roll up and dispose of packaging so it doesn't blow overboard while you're focusing on larger tasks. Smith shoots and misses. Rodriguez is there for the rebound. He takes it to the basket. It's a slam dunk. Good assist and save. Best practices make the best teammates. Remember, when it comes to preventing marine debris, never let your guard down. We're all on the same team, helping to back each other up and if need be, help to provide that assist. By working together, we can keep the sea free of debris. Deposit trash in cans, tie down lids, pallets, hard hats. Label and secure anything and everything that could be lost overboard due to a big storm or sudden gust of wind. And take the time to read the signs posted throughout the facilities. Remember, you're responsible for any problem you see, so fix it or report it. Because if you see it, you own it. Signs are posted at all access points and gathering places to remind you and the crew of proper procedures and to be the difference. We have a choice to make. The ocean can look like this, or this. It's up to you, and you, and you. And we're all on the same team. Together, we are making a difference, and that's making all the difference in the world. To learn more about what you can do to help keep the oceans clean, visit our website at www.bessie.gov debris.